Hello everybody, we are live in the backyard with the sprinklers on as has become, I bet, the tradition for when I start. I set these sprinklers for the new lawn. I could probably go and change them to turn on at 7.30 my time, but what's the fun in that uh, when we have the sprinklers on? We are doing a Hot Wheels 2020 L case unboxing. This is the US L case. It did come from A&J Toys. I remembered to bring the card today. Ken Dotson's the owner. ANJtoys.com is where you can find these cases. I'm going to be doing the, I have the international case coming as well. And um, we'll be doing that unboxing probably later on in the week. We've got a fun week for you this week because uh, I've got these unboxings. I've got a mini GT preview. Um, some other stuff that I'll just get to a little bit later. Didn't turn on the fire today because it's very blustery um, here in Salt Lake City. Lots of wind. Thankfully it's dying down now, but I can't guarantee it's going to stay that way. So things might go a little haywire here in a little bit. But let's go ahead and focus on this L case 2020. And let's just see what we have inside. I um been excited to open this one up and see what we've got and we start with the Toyota 2000 GT. I think I did something on this model and uh, a little bit earlier when we did the features on the K case models. Um, here is the Alpha Pursuit. This is a new model. I have a daughter named Alpha so that's kind of cool. I will think that she might care and I'll show it to her and she'll go, eh, cool. Um, and then here is the Datsun 620, the JDM Legends brilliant JDM Legends shop truck, which I'm so fond of uh, for obvious reasons. Next one, another JDM Legends shop truck looking good. Big, Albert, Big Air Bel Air, the Brendan Fatusky design. Speaking of, maybe this is a good time to pause for a second with that Big Air Bel Air because Brendan Fatusky did that in the 55 Gasser. I'm going to do more on this in a little bit, but I want to show this to you because this literally came... Um, like 20 minutes ago in the mail and I really want to show this to you uh, yes that's a funny name it is the gas hole it is a special gasser custom gasser designed by Brendan Vitusky himself the designer of the bit of the Bel Air gasser and then customized by Chris Walker Night Stalker Customs if you are if you've been in the uh, Hot Wheels world you know who Chris Walker is they both signed these and there's the information from the mind of Brendan Vitusky and Chris Walker brought to you by the Lamley Group. I had a little hand in this uh, and getting these sold. There's only 15 of these made and these are going to be sold for charity. And I wanted to show this to you. I'm actually going to do a full feature on this. But I thought you YouTube viewers, since this just arrived today from Chris, you guys might enjoy seeing uh, this fantastic 1 of 15 gasser. There's my... Uh, old logo there. I have a new logo coming, but um, looks very, very cool. I thought you guys might dig that. All right. Anyway, I'll get to this. I thought maybe we'd get to the Big Air Beller, but I thought that was cool. Maybe you guys would want to see it. All right. And then the Fast Filion, 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 uh, Filion uh, also from the Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games, which would be right conceivably going on right now, but they're not. Okay. 2019 Mercedes-Benz A-Class in red. Really, really digging that one. There's a 2019 Audi R8 Spider. Two of those in white. We've already shown those as part of the feature. Ah, new stuff. Here we go. 91 Mazda MX-5 Miata. Just looking brilliant in plain yellow. That means details on the front from Rio Asada and details on the back. That's a must, and I'm really thrilled to have it. We'll do the highlight video, and we'll showcase that one. There's the Toyota Tundra, which we've already showcased, and the Too Tough. Is that new? Nope. Oh, yeah, I remember this casting. Um, barely. Okay. Velocir Racer. Looks like a dinosaur riding a motorcycle. Custom Cadillac Fleetwood, which is kind of cool. Uh, kind of a cool hot roddy type of thing with some pinstriping on it. And there's the Circle Tracker celebrating 75 years of Mattel, right? Isn't that a recolor, I think? Let's 
says that's trash. Now, what are you saying is trash, Savage Chris? Circle Tracker again, Formula E Gen 2 car, and then the Forward Force, that's new. Obviously a track car, metal base, and then the plastic top. It has all that track deco on it. Trying to look at your comments. Oh, Savage says the Too Tough is trash, I see. Yeah, I don't, not too interested in it. There's the La Fasta from the Art Cars. Oh, the wind's picking up. Let's see how you guys can tell me if that's impacting the video. I hope not. Electro Silhouette. And then the Hot Wheel Armored Truck. Ah, check this thing out. 69 Ford Mustang Boss 302. This one is from the RTR Vehicle Series. This is part of Muscle Mania. Look at that thing in just plain jet black. And they put the um, cool classics wheels on here. These are the wheels that they put on the, um, obviously the cool classics. And we saw that Fast and Furious car with those wheels. Love this casting a ton. I think it's time for me to do a collection update. Oh, look at that. It's even on the windshield. It's hard to tell there, but you can see in the art. And it's on the windshield too. Of course, I do the outdoor video, so the glare is bad. There you go. Yeah, you can kind of see it there in the corner. Really digging that one. Then the Mercedes-Benz and the uh, Velocity Racer. Who's up? Who's digging that one? I totally am. That's a definite highlight. Anytime that casting is done, uh, I'm in, but uh, I particularly like it in that black. All right, Range Rover Velar, that's also a uh, new model for, or uh, holdover from the last case. So is the Shelby Cobra. A lot of you loved seeing the Cobra back in this black deco, which looks cool, and then the Roger Dodger 2.0. Someone says, love the Range Rover Clay. And I do too. I think it's a great casting. Looks good with the black wheel. 69 Camaro we've already seen. We've also seen the Grand Cross. This is new. Mighty Max Garage. This is the 52 Chevy in blue with a little rust on it. Look at that. It's everywhere. It looks kind of cool. On the back, top, even on the sides. I would imagine that chrome grill would have a hard time staying chrome, but it did. Uh, now the wind's blowing the sprinklers. We're all getting wet, everybody. I am. Hmm. It's like having misters at a restaurant. Ah, 69 Chevy pickup. So this is the one that would be the Super, right? And I do have the Super because Mattel sent it to me. So when I do the highlight video, we'll open that up. 69 Chevy, and that's a really nice green. And this model has been redone, I believe, if you look at it. Yeah, so it says 2001 and then 2019, or like 19 on the base. Now they can put smaller wheels on it. looks better proportioned. We'll do a comparison to this one. But I think that one looks very, very cool. Uh, Mountain Mauler and then the 71 Dodge Charger. And the final three for this first half is the 69 Dodge Charger. Custom Cadillac again and the Nerve Hammer. Did I... I don't think I saw the regular treasure hunt, right? Don't think I did. But you guys can tell me if I did. Let's see if that thing stays on top here. Hot Wheels says nope. Alright, let's see what's down here in the bottom. Oh my gosh, these are jammed in there. Oh, something took a hit. Oh, that's cool. I have no idea what this is the order, but whenever they do the Mad Props, they're going to be stuffing them in that case. So there's the Mad Props, Kia Stinger, we're going to get to that one, and then the Night Dragon fell, but let's look at the, let's look at the Kia Stinger. We will do a high, ah, sprinklers are off. 2019 Kia Stinger GT, really cool choice to see a Kia in here. That looks really nice and blue. We've got the uh, details on the back and on the front. That's really nice. Oh, mine has a... Oh, <laughs> look at that. It's got like a... some sort of paper or something. See that? Why not? Eh, we got it. Throw it in there. 
There, there's a little advanced uh, highlight video for you of the Kia Stinger. That looks good. Thankfully, that paper's not stuck in there. All right, we'll put that off to the side next to the uh, gas hole. All right, nice to see the TV series Batmobile. I guess if this one has a white card, that would be the ID, right? The Hot Wheels ID Chase. There's those cool classic wheels back. Really nice to see that. You notice there's a Batmobile in every case. Night Dragon and then the Audi RS5 Coupe in black. That Batmobile looks nice. They try and keep it. Any changes they can make to it, they will. Um, this time they get, you know, it's pretty much the same design. They do it. They put the ghost flames or whatever. This time they do the new wheels. So those of you that collect that TV Batmobile, it's fun to put all those together. Try and see what's, uh, what's different and what's not. I hope there's another Kia in here for me to open. Or that I didn't open when I do the highlight video, right? There's one, right? Hot Wheel Armored Truck, there's the Legends truck, which is recolor, and here's the 2010 Chevy Impala. Looking really good in a Hot Wheels Racing Deco. That is nice. Very much a NASCAR look. Ah, uh, recolor. Corvette C7 Z06 in white right this 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 is not the recall this is not the new model right this is the uh older z06 love it in white that's one that i will definitely collect uh, because it's the plain white i like playing collecting the plain corvettes there's the rod squad super from the last case and there's that fantastic 300 zx police car you guys saying you want a sob i'd take a sob that'd be pretty sweet all right baja truck that looks kind of cool. It's from the Speed Blur. So I, the casting doesn't do much for me, but that's a nice deco on it a ton. I love the deco on it. Uh, there's another Alpha Pursuit. Hey, Alpha, there's an Alpha Pursuit. Neat Audi RS6 or our RS5 Coupe. Another Camaro, another Roger Dodger clip rod. You guys know that's a money clip. You can put your money in there. It actually works. Ah, here's a, some good stuff. 92 BMW M3. Really dig this casting. I believe if they did this casting again, maybe they would somehow incorporate the front grille into like an interior so they could give that break because it's always a bummer when they can't do the front detailing. But I do like the model. This will, this will go to the collection for sure in the police livery. Still waiting for something going full premium like they did with the RCR, the Road RCR series, Road Racer series from several years ago when this casting debuted. We still haven't seen it. I mean, we've seen it in car culture. I guess we've seen the Supreme, right? The Supreme version of this casting, which was cool. But uh, there's another Kia Stinger. No error there. And then that cool 86 Monte Carlo. I like that BMW. Okay, 42 Willys Jeep, Willis Jeep, Willys Jeep, call it what you want. Too tough and another Hot Wheel 450F. Is that in every case too? I don't know why they do that. Okay, Electra Silhouette, another generation E Gen 2 car and then the Bat Copter. Ah, ha, ha, here's another cool one. Shelby Cobra 427 SC in black. There's the Nissan Z again. Check this out. Land Rover Defender 90 to go with the Land Rover Defender 110. Dima clearly designed it because there's Dima's name on it. Love the wheels on this one with the white rims. Good artwork. That's phenomenal. What a great casting. Love the back on it. Factory Fresh. Okay, that's awesome. Way into that one. Dima loves those kind of cars. There's a lot of big fans of those. Um, okay, Alpine A110 Cup looks really cool in silver. It's got the uh, detailing on the front. How about the 92 Ford Mustang Recolor? That looks nice. With the kind of tan coloring. And then there's another TV Batmobile. And then to finish off, so I don't think I saw the regular hunt, right? Do you guys know what the regular hunt is? 
unless I missed it. Uh, Dodge Charger 500, that's a holdover La Fasta, and then that fantastic, another Land Rover, which is really cool. All right, so let's go ahead and put this, there's leaves blowing everywhere. That is your 2020 L case. Does it hold up to some of the others? I think I think it's got some uh, pretty pretty good highlights. I think from uh, castings that uh, from the existing castings, I'd say these three are big highlights. If someone wants to see the Monte Carlo. I would tell you I did the Monte Carlo in the uh, um, highlight video when I did the highlight video. I, I opened this one up and showed it off, so you would definitely want to check that out. But I would say these three are highlights, at least for me. There's some more in here that I'll add. The Batmobile, of course. New castings, really digging those two. That makes this case worth it. That makes it worth it. Monaco wants a yard tour. Um, this yard used to be just grass. We've done a lot of work on it. We put in the retaining wall. We put in the grass. We put in the little garden you see over here. I'm sitting on a patio that we had built. My garage is behind me. I have a separate garage because um, I live in an old neighborhood where they all had detached garages. Anyway, maybe one day I'll give you a little tour. But there you go. Not turning on the fire. I think that's a cool case. We will definitely do the international unboxing uh, as soon as I get it from A&J Toys, and then um, we'll do the L case highlights. Um, we will see if we're going to be having any other boxings for a while. It might be a while. Um, but uh, after that international, we've got some other cool stuff coming. But there you go. More on this to come, and uh, I'm glad you guys were able to hang out. So, all right, guys, I am going to head on out. Thankfully, the wind cooperated, the sprinklers cooperated, no fire, and uh, we'll do this again. Mini GT tomorrow. Thanks, everybody. Bye.